So let's try another one. If you want to try this one on your own and just pause the video and then check your answer, that's fine. So the first thing you want to do is split everything up into half reactions. So you can see you have, this guy has a chromium. And this one also has chromium. So that's going to be a half reaction right there. So 7, 2 minus. There's chromium 3 plus. Be careful when you're copying down the charges. That's another place that people get confused. They, they just skip the charges or you drop them. It's really easy to do and it will really screw you up too. And the other side is this one. Um, okay, so then you want to balance everything other than hydrogens and oxygens. So you can see there's a 2 in front of this chromium. Or, I'm sorry, <laughs> there's a subscript 2 there. So now you want to put, put a 2 in front of this chromium. So you balance everything other than hydrogens and oxygens, and then balance oxygens by adding water. So you look over here, you have seven oxygens. You want to add seven waters. And then you want to balance the hydrogens. So balance everything other than hydrogens and oxygens. Balance oxygens by adding water. Balance hydrogens by adding H+. Plus. So seven times two gives me 14. I have 14 H pluses over there. And then I can balance the charge. So looking at my charges, I have a plus 14 minus 2 gives me a plus 12 charge on the left. And then on the right here, I have plus 6. So don't forget this too. See, now if you if you skip that first part and you didn't balance everything other than hydrogens and oxygens, your charge is going to be off, then your electrons are going to be off, and then your final answer is going to be off. So make sure you don't skip that step. So 2 times 3 is plus, plus 6. So to the more positive one, I'm going to add the electrons. So I'm going to add six electrons over here. And then I can move on to the bottom equation. Um, oh, so actually at this point, you can see since I gained electrons over here, grr, this is my reduction half reaction. Um, it doesn't always happen that the reduction half reaction comes first. Um, it, it is whatever it works out to be. So don't pay any attention to, don't try to find an, an, a pattern in something that's not really there. These things could have been switched around. It really doesn't matter. All right, so down here, I'm going to balance everything other than hydrogens and oxygens. So I'm going to add a 2, because I have Cl2. Um, I don't have any hydrogens or oxygens, so I can go right to the charge. So I have a minus 2 charge over here. So I'm going to add two electrons over there to give me a minus 2 charge. Now I'm balanced. Uh, this guy, this reaction on top was gaining electrons. This guy is losing electrons. Um, so this is the oxidation half reaction which means chlorine is undergoing oxidation, which means it's doing the reducing. So this guy would be the reducing agent. This is the reduction half reaction. So I'm looking at this reactant. Since he is being reduced, he's doing the oxidizing. So he's the oxidizing agent. All right, so sometimes that's like a, a question at the end after you balance it. It'll say identify the oxidizing and the reducing agent. All right, so I, I balanced both half reactions. Now I want to put everything together and the way I do that is by looking at the number of electrons gained and the number of electrons lost, and they're not the same here. Six and two. So if I multiply this bottom reaction by three, the whole reaction by three, I'll get six electrons. So I don't have to do anything to this top reaction. I'm just going to keep it just the way it is. I'm going to get rid of those for a second. Um, and so this one I just get six and three and six electrons. So I can put all that together now and I know that my electrons gained and lost are going to cancel. So let's do our final answer here in green. We have six electrons, 14 H pluses. I forgot my waters. All right, so it doesn't matter what order you write them in, just as long as everything that's on the left is on the left, everything that's supposed to be on the right is on the right. So I had 6, 14, 1, and then I had my 6 chloride ions, and then I have 2, and I have my waters, and then I have the, the 3 chlorides in there. So everything's in there. I just switch that around. It's okay. It's really, it's sometimes it's the hardest part, just copying things down. Um, let's see, then we can cancel things that are the same on both sides. We don't have any, uh, those are gone, and those are gone. So that's our final answer. We have 14 H pluses, Cr2O7, 2 minus, 
Just so it's written a little bit clearer. All right, that's our final answer. Yay. So that one was a little bit quicker than last time. Let's try one more and then I'll show you how to balance under basic conditions. Um, so this one. Okay, and I gave you this one because the numbers get a little bit out of control. And if you see that on the homework or on a quiz or something, I don't want you to freak out. It's okay. <laughs> so far, we've only looked at small numbers. These numbers, I'm already going to tell you, they get a little bit crazy and that's okay. All right, so how do we split these up? This guy has an NO3 and that's an NO2, so that's probably one reaction. And then the P4 going to the H2. PO4 minus, that's probably the same one. So I look at everything other than hydrogens and oxygens, right, in order to figure out who uh, who is the same there. Um, right, and then the other one is the NO3 to NO. All right, so we balance everything other than hydrogens and oxygens. I have four P's here, I only have one P there. I'll put a four in front of this. Um, then I balance Balance everything other than hydrogens and oxygens. Balance oxygens by adding water. So I have four times four. I have 16 this time. So I'm going to add 16 waters over here. All right. And then I have to balance the hydrogen. So careful now because I have 32 hydrogens on this side, right? 16 times two. But I already have eight over there. So if I do 32 minus eight, I only need 24 more hydrogens. So you had to do a little bit of math this time because you already have hydrogens on both sides. Before we didn't have any hydrogens on the other side. So just one more time, I added 16 waters because I had four oxygens times four, 16 waters. 16 times two gives me 32 hydrogens. I already have eight, so I need 24 more. So that's where that 24 H plus came from. And now you can look at the charge on the left. What's the charge on the left? zero zero okay so there's no charge over here and then on this side i have a minus four so i have four each one of these is minus one so minus four plus 24 gives us a plus 20 charge on that side so we're gonna have to add 20 electrons so that's kind of a lot of electrons so i had a minus four plus 24 gives us a plus 20 charge on the left, we want it to be zero because the other side is zero. Great, so I have 20 electrons on that side. Uh, that, that half reaction's done. Now we do the bottom one, looks a little bit, um, maybe that'll be a little bit easier. Balance everything other than hydrogens and oxygens. Nitrogen, nitrogen, great. Balance the oxygens by adding water. I have three oxygens over here. I already have one on this side, so I just have to add two more. So I have two H2Os. When I added the H2O, I also added some hydrogen. So I'm going to add four H pluses on the left. And then I have to look at the charge. So let's see, let's look at our charges on the left. I have a plus four, minus one gives me a plus three charge. NO and water both have zero. Always go back up and check if you're not sure. that you that Make sure you copied the charges down right. So there's no charge on NO, there's no charge um, so there's never any charge in the water. So I have a plus three charge on the left. I want that to be zero, so I'm going to add three electrons on the left here. Uh, so in this case, this guy is losing electrons up here, right? This is our oxidation half reaction, and this guy is gaining electrons. That's our reduction half reaction. Um, yep, oxidizing, yep, this is reduction. So if this is undergoing reduction, it's doing the oxidizing. So this is the oxidizing agent. If this guy is undergoing oxidation, he's doing the reduction. So he is the reducing agent. Just get the agents out of the way. Okay, now let's see. Can we finish up this problem? So if I'm gaining 20 electrons, I'm sorry, I'm losing 20 electrons. I'm only gaining three electrons. I'm gonna have to multiply this equation by three and I'm gonna multiply this equation oops, by 20. And then I'm gonna end up with 60 electrons being gained and lost. So the math gets a little, a little funny here. Not too bad though. Let's see, we end up with 48 H2Os, three P4, Here, you guys can pause this and work all this out too.
All right, so you see those numbers get a little crazy at 48, 3, 12, 72, 60. And then do the same thing on the bottom. Multiply everybody on the bottom by 20. So you get 60, 80, 20, 20, 40. And now you want to add up everything, everything on the left, everything on the right, and then start canceling things that are the same on both sides. So I'm going to add up here. I have my 48. I'm adding up everything in blue. So I have 48 H2O, 3P4, 60 electrons, 80H pluses, 20NO3 minuses. This is a long one. I'm definitely going to run out of space. Okay, and then you want to cancel things that are the same on both sides. And this time we have a lot of things that are the same on both sides. So first off, our electrons, right, they're going to go 60 electrons and 60 electrons. But we also have 40 waters over here and 48 waters on that side. So 40 of these waters are going to cancel 40 of these waters, but I'm going to have 8 waters left. 3P4 is fine. And then I have 80 H pluses and I have 72 H pluses. So I'm going to cancel 72 of these with 72 of those. 80 minus 72 gives me 8 H pluses on this side. So I'm just kind of subtracting. Whichever one has more, I'm going to have, that's, I'm going to have some left over there. And then I have 12 H2 PO4 minus and 20 NOs. So you end up with big numbers, 8, 3, 8, 20, 12, 20. When you check the charges, everything is also fine.